Hi, musing about the past now. Um, when I first came here, it was 2001, it was um, April. Um, I found myself in uh, Livno and working in the, the MUP, which is the, the Ministry of Interior. Um, straight away, loads of work. Um, and not all aimed at uh, telling the police what they should be doing, etc. But sometimes helping them out, trying to chase funds for, for things that had gone wrong with the military aspect. Um, like in the village of... Um, um, up by um, the church at Vidoshi, there was a... Um, serious damage done by Canadian track vehicles to um, the farm road which was uh, an unadopted farm road which it meant that the cost of its maintenance was to do with the village and uh, so no, it seemed I was no sooner in post and I was dealing with all sorts of interagency issues regarding damage to uh, farm tracks and um, and all sorts of, of stuff um, as well as the normal routine stuff we were looking at um, to do with um, people trafficking, domestic violence, uh, making the new major incident plan for the canton, um, all the normal facets of policing. You find yourself having to travel up to Banya Luka and tackle the military um, and to be fair, the Brits were, were quite good. They were in charge of the uh, the budget at the time, and they uh, compensated um, the, f the farmers and the, the villagers um, for that damage. But that brought me in close proximity to a lot of the local people, and <clears throat> one in particular. Uh, we've got young babies in the house. Lena, bless her. So one of the people that I, I rub shoulders with at a very early age, I think um, sometime in late 2001, was a man called Stepan Yerkic, who lives about 500 metres from me now. And from that point onwards in 2001, we have remained good friends and go out on a few excursions, trips and and um, he's allowed me into his family um, I know all of his family now um, absolutely fantastic and uh, he was very very instrumental in me wanting to to come and stay in live now because I know you don't need many people around you but you need solid people and uh, as it turned out he greeted us in 2008 when we moved over and uh, with this book which, which happens to be his uncle now deceased but a famous uh, painter for the region for the whole of Bosnia Gabriel Jurkic now Gabriel Jurkic was trained as an architect and was actually in Kaiser Franz Joseph army um, in the early part of the uh, 20th century um, he has a few pictures um, of that era uh, but mostly he's famous for his paintings of the Dalmatian coast and of Livno itself which will remain in perpetuity and, and are absolutely fantastic and if you ever get a chance if you can put that in Google and, and search for some of his work you like me most probably like uh, realism in, in painting and not any of this uh, pseudo um, Picasso type type stuff I've never liked it I've always liked a representation of what you see and especially landscape uh, and, and portraits and, and this book is just full of it I'm going to run you through just for a few pages quickly to see this but 
So this man, very famous, now deceased, has uh, a studio of his paintings and life at the Goritsa Monastery, uh, the Catholic monastery, just um, on the road towards Kupras. So within the town of Livno, on the uh, way out to the ta other town of Kupras. Um, absolutely glor glorious uh, use of pastel colours and farming scenes, the likes of which, if he'd have been a, a major European painter, would be all over the place. But um, so this is the inscription: Brian Ibizli za svetan život. u um, prijojena v novi uh, kuće u Livno uh, Stepan Jekic Livno 26 Lujana 2000 Ozami and I, I think that basically means um, welcome um, to your new home of Livno and this book without a shadow of a doubt made in 2008 by the author Ivanka Roberski um, and printed in Zagreb features a lot of the um, art not all of it so I'm told by Stepan Um, three generations, 1904. In the evening, a Christmas evening. The end of the village. 1905 I mean the, the life that you see still to this day is represented here Sunsky motif so the the icon of the forest <clears throat> has his life history in there, it's in the language of uh, Croatian so I'm going to have to get my spurs on and start learning the language properly and this one is absolutely fantastic, the colours in it this was his wife um, Fantastic portraits, but one I, I particularly like that one. Frata Paschkala Vujica, and then an auto portrait of himself as a young man, um, dated 1911. So this would have been just before he entered into military service. One he's done of someone else who's the Vice Dalitza. And these are some on the, the coast. This is in the interior, central Bosnia, Yetse, Grad Yetse, which is a fantastic place. And uh, this is sort of like um, a different style than he used but it works very well and it seems to be in keeping with the other pictures another one of Yates from 1912 I mean he was literally um, a recorder at the time this is before cameras were prevalent in Europe and um, much of the world was drawn 
by people who either had architectural skills or classical skills and he had both a scene that you can still see today maybe only occasionally with the the female or the male in uh, national dress but it does happen they do occasionally wander out onto the planina in their local dress this one people who've seen this often say is this a digital picture well no it's an actual painting that he's done each flower individually and you just look at that and that is on the planina um, Vistravan Ujvatu which is um, the mountain of Vistravan in flower I mean absolutely fantastic the light the moon on the on the mora the moon on the sea grass cutting and it's called Ratna Zetva um, I'm not sure if that's uh, work on the the land so here again we have this sort of um, uh, less than classical style that he adopted and this was during the war 1917 winter scenes 1916-1970 his mother in 1915 and by ovcha by sheep or with sheep by sheep 1918 So, I'll flick through a little bit faster. Absolutely fantastic book. All sorts of different styles and uh, Franciscan monks. Um, classical art that he was commissioned to do by monasteries which um, uh, took up a lot of time um, but kept him in, in good funds Impressia 1935 and his mo mother Moya Maika 1927 Yeah, Stephanie, she was beautiful, his wife. But just my favourite, my favourite painter. Why? Because I have an attachment to the location. I have an attachment to relatives of his. This one with the Sanchefes Raka Nad Livenskim Polyam. The sun through Livinsko Polye at one stage there was over a hundred thousand sheep on Livno fields and about 30,000 cattle so it was almost like uh, parts of Argentina the Pampas but uh, everything changes Nebel, the sky. He was a great um, manipulator of 
the paint and representing the skies that you would see I mean we have a very open vista in this canton you can although you have mountains you have three fields um, Glamochko field Duvansko field Livno field and then um, one or two more around that but these are all big swathes of um, of a valley which you know contain uh, a border or a frame of, of mountains around so you can get on any of those mountains and look into this valley evening reflection Vecernie Reflexi 1936 the more uh, Shiroki Valovi 1924 Red Lapodon, 1924. I find myself trying to compose pictures um, in homage to Gabriel. He he had just his sketchbook. And I have a camera so I can come back and manipulate. He had a sketchbook and he then would come back and into his studio and and try and you know catch the memory that he'd briefly drawn, you know, crudely drawn on a sketchbook and using different um, types of oil, pastel sketching it Starry Moss 1922 and this one like so many of them are, are still at the Samostan uh, or the monastery as we call it in Gorica Livno and it's, it's worth a visit it's a fantastic location uh, I mean the, the whole of the monastery is wonderful nice people records that were wrestled from destruction in the, the recent civil war were, were held there um, and look at this this is the one I love it's um, the women in the late afternoon coming back with the firewood off the, the mountain the planina and this is local to us so this is the dinara Dinaric range, or as we call them in this region, Kamaznitsa. And there's the man himself. Auto portrait, 1947. Okay, I'm going to switch off now. Wonderful stuff, eh?